we're the only two that the, each other have got, you know. Yeah. You know, we both sort of Even hold though... this secret and that kind of binds you together. Yeah. But at the same time, it, it is a really frustrating relationship to watch. At first, it feels like it's a normal kind of cop procedural, um, but then the end, we go right into the sci-fi wheelhouse. What was about the this script? Was it the dynamic between both of your characters who play these kind of at odds cop partners? Or was it the concept that felt like that was kind of worth the exploration? Well, I straight away, uh, you know, the first few pages, you're introduced to Elaine Renko. Um, she gets brutally attacked in her own home. and. I think both of us had this experience reading it because then slightly after that, you know, Jim's character Hicks gets introduced and we were, I think we were both like, wow, like, <laughs> who are these people? Yeah. Like, how, how does this fit in? And uh, it was definitely from start to finish for me reading the script, uh, a revelation of uh, excitement mm -hmm. um, and just something that's so gripping that you want to find out what's next. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it was very similar. Yeah, I kind of, I, as Agnes did, we, I think by page five, I sort of knew that I wanted to be a part of it purely on the introduction of, of the two characters. You know, it was like no introduction of two leading characters that I had ever seen or read before. Yeah. So I was really excited about that. And my character kind of rung foot you right at the very beginning of the mm -hmm. show. So then I was kind of, my antennas just sort of went up and I was mm -hmm. like, okay, who is, who is this character? And I want to learn a lot more about them and that was way before I even knew anything about this other concept that right. kind of looms overhead throughout the whole story. I, I was already interested in, in the dynamic between the two detectives in the show before the sort of the big concept sort of hit me in the face as I, as I read on. You know? Yeah, and what's, we don't get that a lot. <laughs> you know, in procedurals it's always they got each other's back, everything's great, but this is a huge, the, the disparity of who you guys are as cops and people is a big part of this show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because partners uh, generally, the buddy cop thing, have to have the same vision all the right. time. And, and what was really fun is that even though we're at odds, personally in the secretive underbelly of what's going on between us, we actually do have, uh, at the end of it, after all the mess, the mm -hmm. same viewpoint, and you kind of discover that, but we just have different ways of getting there. Mm -hmm. um, so it becomes that once we find out about this impinging doom, mm -hmm. we're the only people that one know about it that are still alive, and that brings us together, you know, there's that scene on what you know when we're by the river and mm -hmm. it's kind of a realization of you know we're the only two that the, each other have got you know yeah you know we both sort of Even hold though... this secret and that kind of binds you together yeah. but at the same time it, it is a really frustrating relationship to watch yeah. you know as the see as the as the show kind of goes on because just as you think that they're going to start working together one of them then completely double crosses the other and you know, they're always sort of, it's like a very cat and mouse kind of yeah. strategic relationship between the two characters, where if you're, if you're one step ahead, you've probably lost because the other one's already two steps ahead, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. So it, it's really, because yeah. you think, oh, they're going to become, they're going to start working together. <laughs> oh, no, what? No, why? Why are they doing that? You know, so, <laughs> yeah, for that, it keeps you really on your, on your toes. It's fun to play that as well. Yeah, yeah it yeah. was. What is hard, son? And... Yeah, no.